Hello everybody, Chief of the Cars here, finally back home after a long trip. Um, it was really cool, I was in San Antonio, I guess I can let the cat out of the bag. Back home as you can see by the Clint Eastwood above me, or the Guardian Angel, or I guess like there, like, <laughs> there, somewhere. Um, back, better than ever, I made a deck before I, I left San Antonio and I was really excited about it. It's my first control deck um, in Gwent. I think it's going to be very good. Uh, I love to build theme decks, and Control is one of my favorite things. And any card game I played, even back way back 20 years ago, to Magic the Gathering, to WWE Raw Deal, to Feria, to Duelist, to Elder Scrolls Legends, to Hearthstone, whatever it is, I've always really liked uh, Control theme decks. So, uh, with Gwen, it's pretty difficult because you have a limited amount of control options, and a lot of it is. Um, well, it's just difficult to get the right... You get 10 cards, so it's hard to make sure you have the right answers that you would need in a control deck. So how do you do this? Well, I went ahead and... Well, weather is the obvious choice for um, control because it neutralizes one side of the board. Therefore, there's your control. Um, just making sure you hit the little background. That's what I was trying to do to make sure I was online. Okay. So... the it's tough. Weather is the answer. So when you look at when you think of weather, you're thinking of um, automatically monsters. So the weather monster deck, I have one on GwentDB.com called Whether You Like It or Not. I know it's incredibly witty, and um, it's really good. It's very simple. Whether you you crush their side and then pump up your side, simple. I'll see. I think we'll see a lot of those because it's very effective. But I really wanted to make a different kind of deck. I didn't want to just make the normal weather control monster deck. I wanted to make a control from the Northern Realms. I thought they had, with their promotion ability, a way of keeping their units safe while controlling the board with weather and scorches. So let's take a look at it. That's kind of the general gist behind it. Uh, you see there, Scorched Earth is the name. Um, you can change the name if you want. I mean... <laughs> Not that you would, but um, it's gotten a lot of good reviews. It's got five people or four people voting on it that liked it, and I appreciate that. It's going pretty good. So what does the deck do? Um, I, I wrote down here at the bottom, the deck is all about destroying your opponent's creatures while protecting yours through promotion. And you can promote them for one of three ways. One, through the promotion card, which makes any of your units heroes. Uh, the second way is that if you get three of these on the board, they all promote themselves. And the third way is after two turns they promote themselves. So um, this is still after Gamescon, it's still in the beta. There'll be more cards that come. So this is this is going to be the idea behind this deck. There may be cards that fit a little better synergistically, but this is kind of I think the best cards that fit in this style. Um, so there you go. That's the main thing: protect your creatures through promotion, and then control the board through scorches and weather effects. Uh, it's a true control deck. Neutralize your opponents with weather and removal. There are light must elements for offense and promotions to seal your value. So let's look at the let's look at the offense. So I think with any Northern Realms deck, my favorite card is Blue Stripes Commando. I think they're my favorite because they are just a great muster card and they double the strength the more there are on the board. So um, it allows you to be able um, to when you play one in your hand, you're automatically going to have eight strength on the board, which is pretty nice. If you can make them heroes by the next turn early on, then you have eight strength they can't touch. If you happen to get the third one through full testability, they all become, that's, um, excuse me, 8, 16, 24 strength they can't touch on the board. That's really huge. So in other words, what you do is you would muster the first blue stripes commando, and then you would automatically promote them next turn. I don't think the opponent would see it coming, because four value early on isn't a lot of offense, so it would be kind of sneaky. Use full testability, and then you get them on board, and you'd have a nice little... Um, protected row of troops. Tamarian foot soldiers the same way. Um, as you get more of them to the board, they double their strength, and then you go ahead and promote them to heroes, and they get stronger, and that's a really good um, saved ability, even if it's just eight. I have no pump-ups, because you can't pump up through promotion. You can only get what that card's value is uh, through the card itself. So I have no... Um, um, war cries, I have no mushrooms, I have no um, any kind of pump ups. It's all basically just uh, simply a um, I'm going to put these cards on the board, they're going to stay there, and they're going to get promoted, and they're going to be heroes. So then I looked at how else could I control. 
So once all my units are protected through their own heroic abilities or the heroes themselves, how do I destroy the other person's offense? I do that through weather. Um, so I have the two weather effects here, Biting Frost and Torrential Rain. So this deck is going to fo fo uh, focus on two of the three rows. It's going to so focus on the, the melee row and it's going to focus on the siege row. And we're going to win them because we're going to have weather effects that control both and, her and, our, and all of our troops are going to be heroes. So that's how we're going to win. So the hero row, the, the first row, the siege row, is the only row that really, they don't make themselves heroes. Everything on the siege row can make itself a hero. Um, exception of um, Murder Brock. But generally, they can all make themselves heroes. And now, what's the defense besides weather? Well, Akvist, almost every deck should have Akvist. It's just a really strong dragon card that's a siege scorch. And then I have a little light muster again with the Witchers. So right there, 8 and 8. If you make them heroes, that's 16 points on the board they can't touch. When you're neutralizing theirs with Scorches and Biting Frost, that's a lot of points. Um, that's They would need 16 cards to do something, and that's really tough to do. Uh, I have Villa Metromirth, which is another Scorch card, and I have Geralt, which is another Scorch card, and also removes Biting Frost. Um, that really, he's really, um, if you're playing against monsters, so, I mean, obviously you'd want... Geralt, if you're playing against monsters, so that's where he comes in. So Scorch, 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 I have three Scorch cards in the first row, along with Musters and Temerian Foot Soldiers. You really want to have two Temerian Foot Soldiers in your opening hand if possible. It makes you really strong. Okay. Triss, another Scorch, um, or Fairweather. Now why is Fairweather important? Well, what you might have happen is that when you play some of these cards, either on the melee or the siege row, you may have somebody play weather immediately to neutralize them before you can promote them. Triss will then give you a fair weather card, which will allow you, allow you to then promote them into hero. Um, Sarah would also work really well here if you wanted to put her in instead of the wishers. Uh, there's two hero cards you could replace. You could put Sarah in uh, for, for fair weather um, instead of one of the wishers, and you could possibly go with operator. Uh, as another replacement for the Witcher cards for the hero part of your deck. The Siege Row can all make themselves heroes. They're all self-sufficient. So the Redanian Elite, if you have two copy, one copy will muster the second copy, you can use your hero ability to get the third copy and make them all heroes. And that's a nice 12 damage right there. Um, the Dunbarnet Banner Heavy Cavalry, after two turns, becomes heroes, which means you can't get rid of them, which means when you play them on deck, that automatically becomes six solid points and then you can rain out their side, and then you win six to one or six to two, six to three, whatever it is. If you have another one and so on, it's become strong. And you also have Murder Brock, which is a siege row scorch. So you have scorches on every row. Melee, you have two melee scorches, one range scorch, one siege scorch, um, and that just really hurts. <laughs> then you have Shawnee, and Shawnee, uh, take any non-hero unit from your graveyard, play it, and promote it to hero instantly. So. Turn two, you can use Shawnee to bring back one of the Witchers, or you can use or bring one of the Dragons to Scorch, and then make that card a hero, so they can't deal with it. So you really set turn two and three, you still have a lot of ways of getting heroes to your deck. And because you're playing such a heavy control with Weather, you can have two spies to draw cards. Because once you're running a control deck, what you need for a control deck to be good is to have answers in your hand. And the only way to have answers is to draw cards. So Dystra is a great option, and um, Thaler. You have two spies. You can put them on their side. You can you can biting frost them out, so you don't have to worry about their eight value to the other team because you're trying to control the board. You want one weather each in your hand, your opening hand, if possible, or at least a spy or two, and then a combination of any of those cards thereafter. Uh, one of the key cards is Dun Banner Heavy Cavalry and Temerian Foot Soldier. Those are going to be your two key cards. You, if you, if the, the ultimate hand would be one of those, one each of those, two Temerian Foot Soldiers if possible, both weather effects, a promotion card, and a spy, and your ten cards. You get that, you, have, you can draw the answers you need. Um, you're not going to have a huge burst potential of offense. You're strictly going to rely on uh, removal and weather to control the board. This is a dangerous, this is a, this is a, uh, this isn't a um, flashy deck. This is much just, you're going to scorch their threats off the board, you're going to weather their threats off the board, and you're going to win low-scoring defensive battles 8-1 to one, or 8-3 to three, or 
something like that. You're not going to have a lot of points, so you want to make sure you have answers in your hand to deal with their offense. So it's a reactionary deck where you're just going to have a few cards that you're going to make heroes that they can't touch, and you're going to touch their cards a lot. So um, it's just control. It's, it's, it's just a control -y deck. Um, now you have decoys in here. The decoys are to really get your dragons back to scorch their row. Once you find out what row they're trying to concentrate on, you just bring that dragon back um, and then decoy it back. So for example, a good thing to be with full test um, is um, you can, um, well not full test, excuse me, is it you get you get a uh, Ockvist or you get a Murderbrock if they're running Siege or Ranged and you just decoy them back and scorch them again. So it's really much a, just a control through scorch, removal, and weather and then to promote your units to keep them on board. I think there'll be more cards to come to make this better, but for right now, these are the best cards you have to do that, but it's a very, very controlly kind of deck. So let me know what you think. I've named it Scorched Earth. I think it's going to be very effective. Um, I can't wait to try it out, and I hope you like this. Once again, my name is Shifu of the Cards. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please go to GwentDB.com. Look up Shifu of the Cards. Vote for the deck. I don't mind. It'd be great if you did. And uh, once again, please join our Gwent Discord server at Gwent Discord server. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Y'all have a great day.